Hey everybody, this is Kevin Williams. I've been the guitarist for the Gaithers for nearly 23 years. Can you believe that? And so I'm here today to give you a little tour of the Gaither Studios. I'm gonna take you into the world of Bill and Gloria Gaither and what has happened over the last 20 years and even before that, okay? So come on, let's go. Well, this is it. You are inside Gaither Studios here and this is the new museum part of uh, what you'll see when you come here to the campus. This is a great history lesson of Bill and Gloria Gaither, the legacy of the ministry and the music that they've created, and a lot about their heroes. So uh, we start in the cornfields of Indiana, okay? This is uh, Bill's upbringing right here. Here's George and Leela, that's his parents. This is Bill growing up. Here's the barn where Bill all, always milked those cows. He tells me that cow milking story till I'm sick of it. I could say every word of that cow milking story. Here's little Bill, look at that, boy. Visions of sugar plums right there, huh? Yeah. Uh, we come over here. This is a little bit about Gloria. Let me pass this way. This is a little bit about Michigan, where she came from. Uh, you'll see some of the history about her, and there's little Gloria. Isn't she pretty? Now we're going to come over here. This is one of my favorite pictures of Bill and Danny Gaither. Isn't this cool? This is an old harmony guitar that Bill's holding right here. I don't know if he's playing it, but he's holding it. And then there's Danny. The Gaither Brothers, isn't that the coolest thing? They began singing as a trio with their sister, Mary Ann. That's Mary Ann, and she still lives in town here. Danny, of course, passed a few years ago. Everybody having a good time in here? Yeah. <laughs> All right, look here. This is one of my favorite shots, too. This is the trio um, when they're singing live on stage. This is actually handwritten by Gloria, the speaking part, the recitation, in the middle of something about that name. And if you look up here, old album covers of the trio and publicity pictures and records. I think that is so great. Here's Doug Oldham. This is a wonderful little window of uh, He Touched Me memorabilia. Doug was probably the first to sing He Touched Me after Bill uh, wrote that song. And then uh, Elvis made it very famous on his RCA records. Now look right here. There's George Gaither, traveled with us till right before he passed, and he was in his 90s. Here's a lot of uh, newspaper articles over the years about the Gaithers. Wasn't this amazing? What a legacy. I'm not sure what year they were married. I think they've been married about 52 years, and so here's the, the wedding shot. There he is, Bill with his mouth open. What a, what a strange picture there. That's back when Bill had a flat top. That's back when Bill had hair. So uh, there you go. Boy, our kids' videos down through the years have been very popular. And uh, Benji Gaither, Bill's son, uh, was instrumental in a lot of that. And Gloria, uh, that was her passion, too, to do something for the kids. They had a whole series of homecoming kids' videos. You probably remember Fritz. There's Fritz. And Bailey. You remember Bailey from the video series? Well, when you come to the museum here, you'll see all of that set up. All those kids are grown now and have families of their own. This is probably one of the uh, most prestigious awards, in my opinion, from the American Society of Composers and Publishers. And they voted Bill and Gloria Gaither the Christian songwriters of the century, the 20th century. That's pretty amazing. Uh, you don't hear Bill talk about that stuff, but that's a, that's a very distinguished award. More awards and proclamations, and I'm telling you, this ministry and this, uh, this family has been awarded so many things. I don't think they'd miss a few of these if I just try to... Homecoming Radio is uh, Bill's pride and joy. We're on about 2,800 stations and outlets around the world now uh, with an hour-long program of homecoming music and a lot of other artists mixed in. That's an action-packed hour of music. Homecomingradio.com is the place to go to find out what station that's on. We move into an area of Bill's heroes. This is, uh, let's, let's start over here with Jake Hess, who probably was one of the most influential people in Bill's life when he was a youngster, and he was going to see the Statesman Quartet sing. This wall up above Jake here is Anthony Berger. That was my buddy, and uh, not, a, not a week goes by that I don't think of Anthony and dearly miss him. This is George Yance with the Cathedral Quartet here. 
Remember George? The low down bass. The Happy Goodman family, Howard and Vestal Goodman right here. Look here, here's Jesse Dixon. Jesse brought so much joy in our camp. Here's Hovey. Now this is Hovey from uh, the 1950s, I suppose, right about there. And Glenn Payne right here. Those two partners in crime. How you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. You having fun? I am, it's wonderful. This is one of my favorite pictures of the homecoming family, 1995, it's 20 years ago, hard to believe, and we were all gathered in Studio C that I'm gonna take you in in just a minute and show you, but, but everybody paused for just a minute and the, the photographer climbed up on a ladder and shot everybody in there. Were you there? Yes, I was there, I, it, it's great. Well, where are you in the picture? I'm, I'm not in the, I was holding the ladder for the guy, okay? <laughs> it's my servant heart, okay? I didn't make the picture. So I'm right here in the picture, but thanks for asking. <laughs> You're funny. You are funny. Thanks for being here. Oh, no, I've heard enough of you. What are you doing? Look who just walked in. Oh, my gosh. This is Mary Ann Addison. This is Bill's baby sister. And I just sang, and you missed me. Where did you sing? Over there with Woody. Oh. She makes me buy a ticket to hear her sing. Oh, no. I'll let you do your thing. You look beautiful, honey. Thank you. You look beautiful. And this is it. This is Studio C at the Gaither Complex. This is where all the videos were done all those years that you would see everybody gathered around the piano and I'm gonna take you in with me. We have a special event going on this afternoon. There's a crowd gathering in there because Sue Dodge, you love Sue, she's gonna sing here in the studio and this happens every now and then, especially at Fall Fest, so come with me. Look at this. This is it and we've got a crowd in here. How's everybody doing today? Yeah, what you see is, is the entire room where those videos were done all of those years. And generally, there would be a lot of chairs over in this area. This back wall would be full of chairs and risers. And the piano would be about right here. People would be everywhere, and so you'll see different angles on the videos, and somebody will be sitting down here or sitting over here or just kind of squeezed in like this, you know. We just crammed them in this room. And I have so many memories uh, in this room, wonderful memories. And you all remember Jake Hess yes. and Hovey Lister yes. and George Yance yes. and Glenn Payne and all of those legends that would sit here and Eva May. And uh, my gosh, this, this is so full of memories for me. Usually the band would be in this area over here. I'd be uh, hiding behind a bush or something over here playing my guitar, you know. <laughs> this is sort of hallowed ground. When you get in here, it probably seems a little smaller than you imagined it may be. So, you, you know, TV can be a little deceptive like that. Um, but I think that was what made the magic of these videos uh, as we were all kind of crowded in here together. And, and when you're singing to somebody, you're singing right here, you know, and there's a connection that way. Look who's coming in, everybody. Sue Dodds, everybody. Give her a hand. This is Susie. I love you so much. Let me tell you, uh, you have so many memories in this studio. What's the first memory that comes to mind being in here for one of those Gaither tapings? That was kind of my first one, and I was in awe of everybody because all of my heroes were in here, and I was wondering, what the heck am I doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> but it was just awesome. It yeah. was just awesome because I remember sitting, I sat right over there. Um, I mm -hmm. remember exactly where I was. So, uh, yeah, I love I you. I love you, Sue. I love you. Oh, this is great. Oh, all right. All right. Well. Thank you for letting me barge in and show the folks at home a little bit about this uh, wonderful this place. Awesome. Now, get your hands together and make welcome Sue Dodge. Yeah. I love hey, you, I love I you, love you baby. Thank you. Thank you. What an exciting day this has been. And we wrap up in this little area with the Gaither Vocal Band. This is the current day vocal band here with Adam and Todd and David. And there's Bill and Wes. And it's just a wonderful way to celebrate the Gaither Vocal Band and a legacy of music that has gone on for years and years and years. Here you got a wax figure of Bill Gaither uh, in kind of his street clothes, you know. And uh, I just love it. It's very lifelike, too, you know. Uh... Hello, Kevin. <laughs> 
Bill Gaither, is that you? It's hard to tell, isn't it? That is me, Charlie, <laughs> without the stuttering now. <laughs> See, you do have to wind him up and watch him go. This is what I'm talking about right here. Bye, Bill.